Hey Brad, it's Lee in Tampa and enjoy sleeping in and spending more time with your family. You deserve it, congratulations. Brad, my friend, welcome to the world after television. Trust me, it's great. And of course, as you've been so successful in this endeavor, you're gonna be successful in the next one. Congratulations and thank you for your years of service to our community. I'm proud to have been there at the beginning for you and I'm proud to call you my friend. Thanks so much, man. Best of luck. Hi, Brad. A little birdie told me that you are retiring from TV. Congrats on an amazing career in Charleston. I wish you all the best. Brad, I cannot believe it has been this long. Over 20 years of you being here in the low country on television. Man, I'm proud of you. I can remember the day that you walked into Channel 2 and the great things you did from sports on the weekend. Man, we had a ball. We even got to open up the new, the current WCBD studio. So I'm proud of you, man. But I know you're tired of that early morning wake-up call. And now it's a chance for you to do some of the great things that you want to do with your family. Again, I'm proud Proud of you. I'm looking forward to that next chapter of that Franco life. And hey, buddy, if there's anything that I can ever do for you, you know I'm here for you. Good luck to you, man. Franco, it's Wallace. Man, 18 years ago, I followed you in the sports department and had to subject myself to that for three years. It was rough with that other guy. But I've waited, I've watched, I, I've, I've seen you over the, over the years realize that you're just not cut out for morning news. And somebody else is. So I'm following you again. Monday morning, Josh, Octavia, Hannah, we're going to be doing things differently from now on when I move into that seat. So get that desk spick and span. Kidding, Franco, congratulations on your retirement and I uh, hope to finally get to see you around town a little bit more frequently. Hey, Brad, uh, I always know you as BF. Some people call you Brad. Some people call you Franco. I've always known you as BF. I, I was digging through some old pictures and I found these, this uh, handsome young man right there, actually that handsome man right there. And Brad, if I remember correctly on this picture, this young lady was Lillian's granddaughter who had the biggest crush on you. And you can kind of tell that she loved being next to Brad Franco. And uh, this goes back to 20 years ago, Brad. So we've, we've been together a long time. I've watched you grow up as a wonderful sportscaster, then turned news anchor, doing an amazing job, obviously a dedicated husband, and now an amazing father to your four boys. So Brad, family is very important to me, as you well know, and I know it's very important to you. And we, your family here at Channel 2, want to wish you the best as you move on. And uh, best of luck with you, Carrie, and all the boys. And look forward to watching the boys grow up. And of course, we look forward to seeing you at times as well. Take care, my friend. All right, Franco. All the times that we spent around this station fooling around and joking and everything, I felt like it was important for us to be serious about what you've meant to the station and your legacy here. I think that's an important thing to consider when someone has put in so much effort to what you've done here in 25 years. One thing that we will miss is your journalism the big J person that you are, the person that we could count on every time that we needed somebody to step up and get the story right. We're gonna miss you. Please come back and see us, visit anytime you want to, and take care of those boys. Thanks for everything you've done. Hey Brad, congrats, and thanks for all the memories. Looking back over the last 20 plus years, roommates to growing our careers our weddings and our kids you've been a great friend to have along for the ride we're going to miss you but you'll always be a part of the news 2 family so here's to your next adventure and i can't wait to see where it takes you you know the crazy thing about brad retiring is that it's hard to believe that he's old enough to retire brad is 62 that happened fast well seriously brad we are going to miss you in this place where you've spent a lot of the last 20 years of your life this is a place where you became a legend for being the consummate news anchor brad you've never seen a two-minute report that you couldn't slice down to a minute 20. you've never met a politician you couldn't imitate insert brad's imitation of senator marlon kimson brad is an awesome wrestling coach many of you may know that but when he couldn't coach wrestling anymore, he created his own team. Lachlan, Declan, Rowan, Callan, Brad, also a devoted husband. He was Reese's first crush, but as life would have it, Carrie stole his heart and the rest is their story. Brad, you raised the bar for us here at WCBD News 2. We are a better organization 
because of you. Go take your rest.